Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So you might be wondering what's up with the title of this video because in my last video I said that I'm gonna upload part two of my empire dress video and I might have had a small miscalculation regarding my fabric consumption for the skirt and I might have not ordered enough. <laughs> so that's why obviously um, I can't show you the second part of the video because I don't have the fabric yet. You might not even get it next week, but it will come. Don't worry about that. I just have to wait for the fabric to arrive and then I can continue with my empire dress. So because I didn't want to just not upload anything, I thought it would be good to continue with the basic pattern tutorials that I have been doing. And the next logical pattern would be the sleeve pattern because we did the skirt, we did a dress, and then obviously we need a sleeve for the dress before we continue with pants, jumpsuits and all that good stuff and then a lot of varieties for all the patterns that we already did as well as fitting the patterns, adjusting the patterns and also what additions you have to put into different patterns for different garments. So those are all the videos that I still want to make and that's why I decided to do a sleeve pattern in between the two parts of the empire dress. We will make the sleeve pattern for the dress pattern that I did in this episode up here. If you haven't checked that episode out, I highly recommend you do that because you have to have a top or a dress pattern to make a sleeve pattern because you always make a sleeve pattern for a specific dress. And that's why I encourage you to just go ahead and watch the dress pattern making video first before you watch this video. And that's all for the intro. Let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so uh, we are gonna start with a blank sheet of paper as always. We're gonna need something that is minimum 60 centimeters or around that number and then we'll need um, around let's say 50 centimeters to the side. So this is a a lot more than we need. We're actually only going to use that much. And today, as we're going to do sleeve patterns, which is very, very important, we will have to use our dress pattern. So the number one rule with sleeve patterns is that you make the sleeve pattern for something that you already created. You need a pattern that you make the sleeve for. That's rule number one. And then also, just for a preparation, we have a dart right here and we actually need to close this dart and put it up here into the shoulder. Now the only thing that you do, I prepared this a little bit, is you cut into this line right here towards the corner and you cut into here. And then you can just move it along like so and tape it down with a piece of tape like so. And this is all we need to do for the pattern preparation because we're only gonna work with our armhole. Now, before we start, we're gonna have to take a few measurements and I'm gonna have a separate chart for the armhole or for the sleeve pattern measurements. I prepared the um, chart basically right here, but I'm quickly gonna go through it with you and just create a new one. What you will have on your size chart are all the different measurements that you will have to take. We're gonna start off with our armhole height. Then we're gonna separate both of these into the front armhole circumference and the back armhole circumference. As you might remember from my episode one where I showed you the custom size chart for the overall dress patterns or for patterns in general, I'm using the German abbreviations just because I don't know the English ones and I don't know the exact English names as I learned everything in German, obviously. Okay, then we'll also need the circumference of our armhole, the whole thing. Then we'll need the diameter of our armhole. We already did that, the calculation in our custom size chart for the dress pattern, but we'll need this one in the sleeve pattern as well. And then just a few other measurements like the wrist circumference, the circumference of your upper arm, in case we need to add some additional width into the sleeve. We can also write that down right here. And then one thing that is very hard for me to translate into English is basically you have like a sleeve cap and we need the sleeve cap rounded shape. So now 
As we have all of this, we are also gonna calculate of course one and then one half of a few and then we need one third of one measurement. So the armhole height, we're gonna go back to our pattern pieces. The front armhole height and the back armhole height are measured differently. So you go to your outer shoulder point on your front piece and you measure down to the point where the one third armhole circumference is marked. So right there. So in my case, my front armhole height is 15.5. And then the back one, is measured differently so that's better if you have a ruler that has 90 degree angles painted on so we're gonna have to have a 90 degree angle right here and we'll measure upwards so you can see I have a back armhole height of 16.8 and then you'll just add both numbers up and that's gonna be your armhole height that's 32.3 then we have the circumference of both the front and the back piece which you just measure like so. So you basically just measure this part and you write it down in the front circumference position and then you'll measure this right here until the side seam and you'll also write that down in the back armhole circumference spot in the size chart and then you'll add both up and that's your complete circumference. So this is 38 in my case. Then the AD, we already have that on our custom size chart that we have been using for making the pattern of the dress. And we have it right down here. And we need this calculation with the addition. So in my case, that is 9.75. Then the sleeve length basically is just a standard 60. Then we have the wrist circumference. I just peeked into a size chart that has around my measurements and I used 16. Then the circumference of your upper arm. That is also just something that I peeked in a size chart. I will add the size charts that you can use for this right here into my sleeve chart so you can use that too if you want to i will be using 27 centimeters and then here we are going to calculate so the width of the upper arm is calculated like so you just use the circumference of your upper arm and just add two to four centimeters, depending on what garment you're making. So this sleeve is usable for blouses, for jackets, for coats. It's just a standard sleeve pattern. And the wider your dress garment is, the more you would give into your width of your upper arm. So in my case, as I have this really really small and tight dress pattern i will just be adding two centimeters into my width so that makes a width of 29 centimeters adding fullness into this whole thing we're not going to do this right now as we have a small pattern and then we have the height of your sleeve cap and that is also a calculation now this calculation is a little bit more complicated than this one and it is one half of your height minus one fifth of of your circumference minus 0.5 centimeters to 1.5 centimeters. This also depends what you are making. So this one right here, this formula is just for smaller patterns. So if you were to make a coat, you would use one tenth of your AD and then you would put one centimeter to two centimeters in this calculation. So this is for coats and this is for smaller patterns like blouses or tighter jackets and stuff like that. So we'll be using this right here. And if we do the calculation, we can also use this right here already. So this is 16.15 minus one fifth AD. We're gonna have to do the calculation right here. One fifth of 9.75 is 1.9. And then we're gonna do 0 0.5. So we're gonna come out to 13.75 for our sleeve cap. Okay, so we're gonna start with a point that is to our upper left and it should be enough space that you can measure down 60 centimeters. I'm actually going to take my black pen again so you can see better what I am doing. Measuring down 60 centimeters. This up here is my spot where I begin with. And the first thing that we're doing is actually marking 60 centimeters down. That is right here for me. 
And then after that, because our sleeve is obviously also a 3D object and it's going to be around something round, we're going to have to um, adjust the hemline for this situation basically. So we're going to have to adjust the line right here. So we're going to measure up to two to three centimeters and that is due to basically how our arm is built. So we have our elbow which is going like this, right? So we're most of the time having our arm angled a little bit. That's why you don't need as much fabric on the inner side of your arm than you need on the outer side of your arm because out here you will have to cover the elbow which is you know, more space than it would be here. So that's why we're going two centimeters up right here. Okay, so once we have all of that, we're gonna measure down the sleeve cap height, basically that we've been measuring before. And that is this number that we calculated down here. So 13.75, we're gonna measure down from our point one, basically. This is right here. Now, once we've done that, we're actually gonna measure from this point down to the point that we put higher. So up until here. We're actually gonna divide this length into two and add one centimeter in the lower section. So this is 44.25, half of that is 22.125. So it would be right here, but then we're gonna add one centimeter and we'll mark this right here. And this is the elbow line. So we can go ahead and actually angle this to the right, as well as the hemline, not the two centimeter higher one, but the actual hemline. Then also this spot right here, where we mark the height of the sleeve cap. And then also this spot right here. We're gonna continue with this point right here and we're actually gonna mark one fourth of our armhole diameter or width. This is actually a number that we already calculated right here. So in my case, it's 2.5 centimeters. We're gonna mark that right there. And this is our front sleeve point. As if you can remember, we already marked this point in our pattern pieces. So basically this point, what we marked right here will be this point. And then we're gonna do something similar on the, on the other side as well. And this is gonna be this point. So these two are our sleeve points where we know that they will put, be put together. So if we sew this whole thing, we're gonna have to have a notch right there in our fabrics because we know that these points will be sewn together. And now we're gonna take this point and we're gonna measure half of our circumference of our sleeve. So in my case, 19 centimeters to this side right here. And we're gonna mark until we meet the upper line that we drew before. So this is right here. And then we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do half of our armhole circumference minus one. So not 19, but 18 centimeters until we meet the line. So that is right there. Now we're gonna come back to the first point that we drew and we're actually gonna mark our AD plus four centimeters and then we're gonna mark our AD plus six centimeters. So in my case, that is 13.75 and then it's gonna be 15.75, so right here. So now it's gonna get a little bit more complicated. So once we've measured those lengths right there, we're gonna have some sort of overlap. And this overlap has to happen. If you do not have an overlap right there, you have to redo all your measurements and do it again because this has to overlap. So now we have basically this area right here, which is overlapping. And we're just gonna take the middle of that and use this as our point, which tells you how wide your sleeve is gonna be. So we're just gonna angle everything down from that point on down. Okay, now we're actually gonna draw our sleeve cap up here. We're gonna measure this length right there, which is 14.5 in my case, and then we're actually gonna divide that in half, so 7.25, and add one centimeter coming from your first point, so coming from the left. So we're not gonna do 7.25, but 8.25 as our first mark. And then we're gonna do the same, but opposite from this point on. So as you know, this is 14.5, 
half of that is 7.25 and we're gonna go plus one coming from the right side so we're gonna be right there and then we're gonna come back to this point and actually half this right there and this point will be connected with our sleeve point and we're gonna half that as well right there and then we're gonna take this point and we're gonna connect it with that point up here and now we're gonna actually come back to this point right there and we're gonna need our 1 4th ad which is 2.5 centimeters but we're not gonna do that but we're gonna do for 1 4th of our ad plus 0 0.5 centimeters so in my case that's three centimeters please disregard this point i did a mistake right there so we're gonna be right there this point gets connected with this point up here and then we're gonna come back to this point right there and actually mark 0 0.5 centimeters to the left on this helping line and once we have the 0 0.5 centimeter mark we're actually connect this to this point that we already drew down there and now we're gonna take a ruler and actually mark 0 0.5 centimeters up from uh, this line right there and now we're gonna need our front piece because as I've said already these points are gonna be connected once everything gets sewn so we will have to put these points together and copy the curve of our armhole now this curve should end up in the helping line that I just drew right there and we will have to mark our lowest point so basically where our side seam is that's where the point the lowest point is now we're gonna come back to our elbow line and we're gonna go to the right so we're gonna narrow this line between 0 to 1.5 centimeters I'm just gonna do one centimeter and we can go ahead and connect all of the remaining points so we're gonna connect from this point on from our front sleeve point to the hem point that we put two centimeters higher earlier and then on the right side we're gonna go 0 0.5 to one centimeter to the left I'm just gonna do 0 0.5 and we're actually gonna connect this point, not the 0 0.5 helping line point, but actually on this big line that we drew before, right here. Now we're gonna work on our hem line. There's actually a small mistake I did right here. We need, obviously we need this number. We need to know what our hem circumference is gonna be. And we actually also calculate this. So we're gonna take our wrist circumference, which is 16 centimeters, and we're gonna add two to 10 centimeters. So depending on how wide you want to have your hem to be, I'm just gonna do 22 centimeters in total. So I will add six centimeters and make it 22 centimeters um, normally you would have a hem circumference of 18 to 26 centimeters so this is the norm and you can choose anything between that i'm just gonna do 22 and then obviously half of that is 11. so we're gonna go here and measure half of our circumference that we just calculated or that we just said that we want so in my case 11 centimeters and we're gonna mark this down to our hemline and then we're gonna connect this point on our elbow line with the new hemline point so you can see it almost looks like a sleeve already so what we're now actually gonna do is we will just mark one to two centimeters on this line right there, I'm just gonna do one centimeter and we're gonna mark the 0.5 centimeters right there. And these are just helping spots because now we're gonna draw the sleeve cap. This up until here is gonna be a straight line. And then from there, we're gonna have this line, which is gonna continue like so through the helping spots over here. And it's gonna end in this point, not in the 0.5 point. And then from this line on, we can measure half just as a helping spot as well because we're gonna do like a line like this and this will be connected in a round way into this line as well and then we can take a round ruler something like this 
and we can go ahead and actually draw those lines in. And then I'm actually gonna use a red pencil so you can see the lines that I'm doing. So I'm just gonna do this, nice and tidy. And then I'm gonna connect my shoulder point to this point right there. I'm gonna let it go into this line right there. And then I'm gonna connect my side seam like so. So this is gonna be my sleeve cap. One of the last steps before we actually open the sleeve up basically is marking our actually side seam. So we're just gonna go parallel to the front line that we already drew before and mark our side seam like this. So we can already go ahead and write side seam right there. And now what we have to do, like the one remaining thing that we still need to do is basically copy this part and transfer it mirrored to this side and then do the exact same thing with this one right there. The easiest method to transfer is actually just taking a piece of paper and connecting all the dots that we need for this transfer. Basically you're copying the pattern piece onto another piece and then you're gonna use that for tracing out mirrored that pattern piece onto the cardboard. So another thing that is very handy now is a tracing wheel, which looks like this. We're gonna turn this around, put it right there onto this corner, adding up all of the different lines. And you can see right there, it's gonna make a dart. So we're just gonna trace our rounded shapes that we drew a second ago, as well as all of the cross points and the dart. And you will have some perforations on your cardboard, which is probably not visible in the camera, but I can see it. I'm actually gonna use my ruler for this, my, my, my rounded ruler. And I'm also gonna try to connect this rounded shape in a neat way so that it doesn't make any weird corners, or something like that. And I'm gonna connect it like so. Right here is the side seam. And then I can just connect this like this. And then all of these points can just be connected with a normal ruler. And that's that. And this is our dart. And then we just do the exact same thing for the smaller part. Turn it around and then you will see that those points don't add up perfectly, but that's fine. I'm just gonna show you how you trace this. So obviously the curve and then all the corners. And right here is a corner. So you're gonna mark this spot and then you're gonna turn right there where those lines divide, you're gonna turn it so that the lower part is now on the line and then you're just gonna mark those lines right there. And you will end up with your finished pattern piece. Like so. You can go ahead and elongate your elbow line as well as this line right here. And now the only thing that is left to do is measure. Obviously you want your pattern to fit. So this line right here, you measure that, is 45. And this has to connect to this line right here, which is 46. And that is totally fine. It's actually good that this line right there is smaller and only one centimeter smaller than this line, because this is, as I've said already, this inner line right there. And you want this to have less fabric than the outer line right there. So it's gonna fold and lay really nicely if this is a tad bit smaller than this one. So this is perfect. And then also up here, you will have to measure if all of your calculations actually fit onto your dress pattern. And also we have to put the back sleeve point still into this. So we'll need our two pattern pieces right there. We will go ahead and measure 
this right there, which is in my case 7.4. So we're actually going to go up here from this point right there and going to measure 7.4 right there, which is our back armhole point. And then we have to measure the remaining parts of our sleeve, both in the back and the front as a control that this right there fits nicely. So in my case, that's 13 centimeters. So we will have to measure from our back sleeve point all the way up here, which is right there, which is, we'll see about it. And then from this point, it's actually 13.4, which is right here. So you can see right there, we have an armhole that is four centimeters too wide, which is, in my opinion, quite a lot. I don't like sleeves that have a lot more width in here than the actual pattern piece. And four to me is quite a lot. That would mean that I would have to squeeze two centimeters into my dress pattern on both sides, so back and front, which is not really nice. I don't really like it. So the only thing that we can actually do is make the curves not as crazy, basically. So what we can do is actually make this less curvy and this less curvy. This is not going to do a whole bunch. I can tell you that right now. So we had 13.5 right there. It's at least coming to here and then 13 on this one, which is coming here. So this is narrowing down by one centimeter. So we would have our shoulder point right here in the middle and then we would have to add 1.5 centimeters each into our sleeve pattern which is doable, it's still a bunch. But I think it should be quite okay if you make it really nicely. If you put all of this width into your sleeve really nicely, it's actually gonna make a really nice and cute uh, sleeve on your shoulder area. I'm just gonna leave it like this. This is my shoulder point and that's how you make a sleeve pattern. Obviously you're not quite done and now the pattern is done but you would have to cut this out of fabric and then obviously also the upper torso pieces and make a whole mock-up and then fit this pattern into the actual dress pattern, fit it on the person it's made for and then adjust it accordingly. If you are interested in how to actually fit patterns you can leave me a comment down below and I'll be happy to show you how to fit a sleeve pattern or any other pattern that you would like to see. I'm gonna stop this video right there and just gonna cut it out and then your sleeve is done. And that's all for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have your perfect sleeve pattern in front of you or you're gonna have some guide to help you go through the construction part. I know it seems complicated but once you're actually doing it and following all the steps you'll be fine. I hope at least and if not feel free to ask me anything either in the comments down below or you head over to my Instagram. I am always so happy to talk to you guys over there because it's also easier if you can like send videos or pictures of your problems and so on and so on. So if you have any specific questions for your specific situation just go over to Instagram and write me a message there. And apart from that, of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment for the algorithm down there. It'll help me out so much, especially because it tells YouTube that you actually really enjoyed this video and it might as well also suggest it to other viewers who don't know my channel already, but have similar interests. So please go ahead and do that. I appreciate it so much. And then of course, please go and hit the subscribe button as well as ringing the bell, because then you'll get notified once I post again. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys! Yeah. Yeah.